Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and today I'm going to show you one of my most fruitful trees and what I did to change it and make it even more fruitful. Now this is a tip that I've heard about, and many of you that are growing mangoes might know about it, but I know a lot of you haven't heard of it, and it's going to help you a lot. So I have this tree here. This tree was my Kerry tree, and this is a big, beautiful Kerry tree. Every year it's loaded, uh, but I kind of got... I, I loved Kerry mangoes for a while, and I know it's such a popular mango amongst people, but with the selections out there, I kind of lost favor with Kerry, so I tried to top work it. And when I'm top working this mango, I know some of you think I'm crazy for considering to top work a Kerry, but so be it. The mango I choose to top work it, work it with was Emerald. Now, I know a lot of you haven't heard of Emerald. I'll put a description below from... Uh, tropical acres farms about emerald mango but emerald mango is wonderful i love it and it's also a small or well a semi dwarf i don't like to use the words really because every mango tree will get big if you let it but uh so two of the stalks i i got about four scions maybe six scions and two of them took so of the two that took they were growing straight up and i could have should have maybe left them but i decided I want them to branch out a little, so let me show you what I did. Okay, so this is the tree here, and it's a pretty cool tree. It's, as you can see, there's a branch going all the way out there, but this tree was humongous. Those of you that have seen my videos in the past know that. Now, for those of you that are wondering why the trunk's painted, because I didn't want to make the same mistake I made in some of my other trees that I trimmed where it got sunburned. So when I took the leaves off, I painted it. So here's what we did. A lot of that is still carry. I still left some of it on there until these grow. But this here is one of my emerald grafts that took. And it's looking really nice. And here's another one that took. So you see right here, that's where the graft was. And it took. So what I did here was really cool. So uh, they say when you're... Let me go to another mango and, and show you show you this before I get back to that. Yeah. Uh, so this is my lemon meringue tree. And sadly this year there aren't too many mangoes on this tree. But this is my lemon meringue tree. And you could see from the from the tree all the way up here is all trunk, all branch, all branch, all branch. There's a little flower, all branch. And then finally up here, I'm getting some branches that split two ways. And then here, it's coming out, it's splitting two ways. So the idea is, and what I've learned is, you never wanna go one, two, more than two handfuls without clipping or cutting it. And then what'll happen, it'll branch out more. And then and then when those branch out, you go one, two. And so two handfuls is the most you should go out. Obviously, I went a lot more out on these, even from the bottom, some people like to grow from the bottom because when you do this, the tree will get big, but you're not gonna get as many mangoes because for example, here's one branch. Now, if this was three branches and then you cut them and then you had three more and you cut them. So in this, at the end of this branch, you might get one mango. But can you imagine if you had six or nine branches in this batch here? That's six or nine mangoes. And that's the whole concept for the tree. So coming back to this mango tree here, when I put the the graft on, I'll take that one off because that's from the tree. When I took the put the graft on, it grew, it got all the way up here, and then it started branching out. So that's pretty cool. It started splitting. But now I had one, two, and three. So I had three branches. Now with this concept I'm talking about, I came up here, I went one handful, two handful. And then if I would have left this alone, it would have just went straight up and eventually might have split. But I wanted it to split right here. I didn't want to go too long without a split. So when I got here, I cut it. And instead of it keeping from growing straight up, now you have one, two, three, four more coming out here. Same thing here. Everything went. I left the graft alone until I got right here. Coming up, one, two. So this went a little bit more, but it was going a lot more and I cut it. And since I cut it, now you see one, two, three coming out. 
as opposed to one growing straight up. Now this one I left alone. This was the third branch that was coming off the off the graft here. This one I left alone. So this one goes straight up, straight up, and still it's not even it's not even branching out yet. So all of that is one big branch as opposed to these where I cut earlier and I'm already getting more more branches here. Let me go to this one and give you an even better example. So this is my other graft here. So the graft was here. I came up and naturally split right here. Naturally split right here. So this one is coming straight up, straight up. I can't remember if I cut it here or not. I think I did. I think I did. Anyway, so it splits in two. We're coming straight up. And this one here, it's coming out. See, it was getting kind of long. That's one handful, two handfuls, three handfuls. So I cut it here and look, getting a whole bunch. It's gonna split a lot more there. So that's a tip I learned that when you're, when you're cutting these, don't let them go too long. Don't let them go too long. Now there's still some carry on here. I haven't taken off yet. And that one finally split up there and then all many other branches came out. But if I didn't cut that there, it would have went straight up before I would it would have naturally split. They will split eventually anyway, but the sooner you get them to split, the better. Two handfuls is is what's recommended. So here's another example. Got one, two, so one, two, so this I did cut it and it's starting to branch and grow new trees. But if I left this, it'll go straight up and might branch up later on. Let me give you this example. This is a seedling that I have. This mangles a seedling here and it goes straight up. I didn't touch this mango tree at all. And the first branch on this tree is like all the way up there. Now those are too high to cut. I didn't cut them, I left them alone. And they're just growing straight up. Nothing's branching out on them. So that, if you get a mango with mangoes that grow at the end of the branches, that big mango tree, you're looking at one, two, three mangoes that might come at the top of that tree. Three mangoes. Because the mangoes are gonna grow at the end of the branches. They're not like some fruit that grows in the middle. So that's the point. Now, if I wanna be diligent, there's two things I could do to correct this, but it's a seedling, so I think I might leave it alone. But the, the best thing to do, really, would be to cut the whole tree right here, or even lower, so it starts branching out lower. That would be the, that would be the ideal. The other thing was those up there, definitely cut those there so it starts branching out much lower. That's a seedling tree that I'm experimenting with. I don't even know what kind of seedling it was, but I'm just gonna leave it there and see what happens, let it do its own thing. But ideally, the point of this video is to say, cut this here and up there. If you're gonna leave this up there, cut those in half. That'd be ideally the best. Now let's take a look at my orange sherbet tree. And when I was trimming this one, I did that same concept. I cut it and check this out. So it comes off there, it's a little long, but here, I cut it here. And you see now, we got one, two, three. See that? You know, I didn't let them get so long, I, I, I clipped the ends of the tree. So they would grow new. They would come out more. The more ends you have, the more mangoes you're gonna get. This is how some people that keep their tree small do it. They never let the trees get too long of wood. Okay, here's kind of another example. It was coming out. When it got here, I cut it here, and then it started branching out more. One, two, three. Whereas I would have left it, it might have just stayed straight. So that's just uh, some examples. And when you're cutting the tree length and everything, those are some things to look for.
This is my orange sherbet tree. See mangoes starting to come. Orange sherbet. Look at my neighbors, Angie, that's coming over my fence. Look how many mangoes are on there. That's going to be amazing. Wow. What an amazing year. All right. Uh, so this is my first chance or my first time grafting a tree this big. And we'll see how it goes. But I'm also going to take these off here that are trying to grow through the tree. So I'm not letting those grow back. And eventually I'll cut the carry off completely. Maybe I should do that now, but something tell me, have a multigraft, don't let go of me just yet. It's very interesting. I put on this tree uh, some more grafts and I put one here that I didn't take. But if you come around here, I put a graft here, just playing around, see what would happen. And it did take. Now this is one of two mangoes. I'm not sure which one of the two it is, but it did take. And it's so kind of away from the rest of the tree. So we'll see what that turns out to be. But here's another example of what I was telling you. This is a really good example. This is part of the, the Kerry tree. And I tried to graft here, but it didn't take. So I cut this. Not with this same concept in mind, just to cut it to graft. Well, it didn't take. But look, it's shooting out a bunch of other branches here now. If I didn't cut this, that probably won't happen down there. So, so that's an example here where we got growing on. Mango season's coming and coming quickly. So it's going to be a, a good season. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Put your comments and questions below if you've done this method. I think Richard Campbell was the first one I've seen doing this. My friend Bob is the one that told me about it. And supposedly you get a lot more mangoes because they grow at the end than you would as if you just left it alone. Let me know what your opinion is. Put the comments below. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing and keep growing.